let the circle represent the number of trades executed by a manual trader per second. This is how the trades from a regular algorithm would look like. This is how the trades from medium frequency trading would look like. This is how the trades from high frequency trading would look like. Thomas Peter Feig, the father of algorithmic trading, also founded Interactive Brokers in 1993. This is Jim Simons, who saw market as equations, igniting quantitative revolution and founded the NINSA Technologies in 1982. These pioneers paved the way for today's high-frequency trading. But this transformation from shouting pits to lightning algorithm was not easy climb. This is the tale of how human ingenuity reshaped finance. On Black Monday, October 19, 1987, the Dow Jones Industrial Average fell by 508 points, a 22.6% drop. This remains the largest one-day price decline in the history of Dow. One of the contributing factors cited was the rapid execution of sell orders by early computer programs, especially in portfolio insurance strategies. While the exact cause is debated, it highlighted the potential of technology to exacerbate the market volatility. The first electronic communication network, Instinet, founded in 1969. But it was in the late 1990s, with the rise of internet and de-revolution, that ECNs truly revolutionized the trading by allowing investors to trade directly with each other, bypassing the traditional exchanges. The order handling rule, implemented by SEC in 1997, forced market makers to display customer limit orders on ECNs, leveling the playing field and further fueling the growth of electronic trading. The move to decimalization in 2001, reducing minimum price increment from 1 by 16th of a dollar to 1 cent, created opportunities for high frequency traders to take profit from tiny discrepancies, accelerating the adoption of algorithmic trading. By the mid-2000s, algorithmic trading accounted for a significant portion of the daily trading volume on major exchanges. Some estimates suggest that over 70-80% of trading volume in US markets driven by algorithmic trading. On May 6, 2010, the flash crash showed that the Dow Jones plummets nearly 1,000 points in minutes, only to recover most of the losses just as quickly. The SEC's investigation concluded that a large sell order executed by a mutual fund using an algorithm triggered a cascade of automated selling. The flash crash highlighted the interconnectedness of markets and the potential for algorithms to create system risk leading to calls for stricter regulations and safeguards. Following the flash crash, 
the SEC implemented circuit breakers, which are designed to temporarily halt trading in individual stocks or the entire market if prices moves too quickly. In 2012, Knight Capital Group, a major trading firm, suffered a loss of $414 million in just 45 minutes due to a software glitch in its trading algorithm. This incident underscores the importance of rigorous testing and risk management in algorithmic trading. Renainsat Technologies, founded by former Cold War codebreaker Jim Simons, is one of the most successful hedge funds in history. Renowned for its use of quantitative models and algorithmic trading, their Medallion Fund, which is primarily for employees, has generated average returns of over 66% annually before fees since 1988. HFT firms invest heavily in infrastructure, such as co-locating the servers in the same data center as Exchange and use microwave towers to transmit data faster than fiber optic cables, gaining a speed advantage measured in milliseconds or sometimes even in nanoseconds. For example, Spread Networks spent $300 million to build a fiber optic cable between Chicago and New Jersey that was just a few milliseconds faster than the existing lines, demonstrating the extreme lengths HFT firms go to for a speed edge. The spoofing case against Navinder Singh Sarao, a British trader who was accused of contributing to the flash crash by manipulating the market with fake orders, raised questions about the ability of regulators to detect and prevent market manipulations. The increasing complexities of AI algorithms, particularly those using deep learning, makes it difficult to understand their decision-making process, raising concerns about transparency, accountability, and the potential for unintended consequences. The field of explainable AI is emerging to address black box problem by developing techniques to make AI decision making more transparent and understandable to humans. Researchers are exploring the use of blockchain technology to create an immutable audit trail of algorithmic trading activity, potentially increasing transparency and accountability in the market.